to the lovers of a cult. I'm Fia. In this episode, we want to teach a practical magic to attract money. The magic I will teach you today is not at the beginner level. This magic is for my students who have been with me for at least a year or two. They know many concepts. There is no more experienced magic in the financial field, and that money will be abundant in your life, and you will not know where it comes from, and you will not even be able to control this money. It means that you don't have time. You will get a lot of money, and from places you don't expect, new financial offers, new job positions, investment offers, and people you don't know at all want to love you, want to work with you, want to give you money, inheritance, and many other conditions. The attraction of the third chakra is so much in this magic that you don't really know what to do. It is a very strange thing. Of course, as powerful as it is, there is no more powerful magic in the third chakra at all. It is just as complicated. You need to set up an 8x8 grid, as you can see in the picture. The grid is a crystal set, that is, a crystal grid is created by placing several crystals together. Here you need you have 65 crystals, 56 small crystals of this size. We call them thumbnail, 8 medium crystals. Like this line, I am showing these, and a large crystal in the center. There are 65 crystals in total. Your most important crystal is the one in the center. Here you see citrine, the super powerful crystal of the third chakra, is for financial attraction. It does so much and brings joy into your life. It is a very powerful crystal. You can use tiger eye instead. They are both very, very powerful. There are much rare crystals, like red tiger, that I don't think can be found in Iran, and the crystals related to the third chakra can all be placed in the center. We just have to pay attention that their weight must be high. They must be big. The crystal that is in the first line, as I told you, it is eight by eight. That eyes, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, in eight lines, one, two, three, four. I have arranged only four numbers. Five, six, seven, eight. This will be eight by eight. I did not complete this to not capture the demon here. As you write, I'll explain the principles of writing a magic square. You must put it under this crystal, that is, in the center of the grid. When you want to write, you must remember that you must protect yourself. That is, you must perform protection magic. The act of protection magic is a series of prayers, and it is the sum of a series of numbers in Ramel as we write this, that this will protect us, that when we are working with demons and angels, basically, don't let them be insulted and try to hurt us, and they do. You are casting a spell, you are using a spell, and you are not clean without knowing it. This impurity of yours causes an insult to one of the angels that is there on that day and that you have summoned. Either it is the angel of the clock or it is the angel of the dahlia. And this makes, or you didn't wear good clothes, you didn't wear perfume, many things that are very small. It is extremely important in spells and summons. You are summoning an angel. For example, it is for Jupiter in the hour of Jupiter that is conjunct with Venus, and you want to do an emotional magic. If there is no vanilla perfume, vanilla smell, vanilla scent in your grid and the entire room, this angel, I don't want to mention it, will be very upset, and you are subject to its wrath. For 40 days, you must abstain from meat, dairy products, and anything that comes from a living being, fish, chicken, and all that. And this is very difficult. These prohibitions, or you are the subject of their anger until, for example, six moons in the next Scorpio, which has its own complicated issues. The thing you must observe is incense. Pay attention that each spell must create a special smell in the environment. This spell has the main smell of strawberry, and you can use perfumes that have a dominant scent of strawberry. Saffron is very important, and when you burn an incense, for example, you want to work with frankincense, you pour the frankincense on the device you want to burn the incense with. Nowadays, 
Many students use electric device. Many of them work with the old ones. It doesn't matter what you work with. The device that is hot. You can pour frankincense incense on it. Pour saffron incense. Saffron is very important. Its color. As you can see here, I have a different nine point spell for people who are Muslim and religious and, and observe Sharia, their prayers, their fasting. They do everything. I have set it aside for them. Maybe I will talk about it in the future, but for ordinary people, Christian, Jewish, secular, don't accept God at all, and, and for all beliefs. It is this grade that is powerful, and we are talking about this today, which is the most powerful financial magic in the world. And let's continue the discussion that saffron should be among the incense that you offer, and the smell of strawberries must be in your bread. I will tell you about the prohibitions. Cancel the summoning of housemates when you have done the protection magic, that is you protected yourself. You can do all kinds of protection magic. There should be no special protection magic. Maybe I will teach you a constant protection magic in one of the videos. It is no longer necessary to do the protection magic before doing any transcendental process. Have a constant protection magic forever and rest assured, be with you. Do transcendental things as much as you want. Know that you are safe and secure, and neither devils, nor angels, nor other supernatural beings, nor permission to interfere, nor can touch you, and in general, may be the most powerful defense shield that you can have without agate. Only when casting spells is this protective magic permanent that maybe in one episode I will give you a complete tutorial on how to do numerology on your name and calculate this. But now there are people who can't do this and it's complicated for them. You always know that there is nothing higher than agate to be our defensive shield. Many people had asked, what is the shape of an Indian agate? What is the shape of Carnelian agate? And what is the shape of desert agate? Unfortunately, I don't have desert agate to show you. And desert agate are in the form of gyo. That means their total weight is about one kilo, half a kilo, and it doesn't work for us. Mineral agates are extracted from the mine. For example, there was a 10 ton agate vein in a mine from which a half kilo piece was taken out and the total energy of the 10 tons is inside this half a kilo. And this is what we need. In Iran, most of the agates that exist are the mineral agates of Khorasan, which are desert agates that are not suitable for us. Of course, the price of them is very low. They are Indian agate and Brazilian agate. Brazilian agates are also called Carmelian. This is the Indian agate. See in the picture, blue Indian agate. It has different colors. And this is Carnelian agate. Very beautiful and extremely high energy. This is also blue Carnelian agate. And it has different colors, Carnelian agate. It also affects the third chakra. It also brings us a lot of money. Indian agate only provides protection, but Carnelian does both. Well, we want to do protection magic. So, in order to do this process, we are summoning a demon. We are forcing this demon to bring us money and bring a lot of sustenance. This demon, it can fit up to 65 demons in this grid. That means it can bring another 64 demons. And 65 demons can fit in this grid. See, 65 demons. Those who work in occult sciences know that masters do the greatest work with three demons. That eyes, three is the last number of the demon. But this grid, this is not an Iranian grid. This is not an Arabic grid. This is an international grid. Anyone can use this grid anywhere in the world. Search for wealth grid and, or it is also known as money grid. They use this everywhere in the world when they want to perform complex magic. And this is the common and international language of magic. It doesn't matter if you want to do white magic in Iran or if you want to do white magic in Africa. Everyone knows the crystal breads. These crystal arrangements together are called greads. And what I explain to you is eight by eight. This means crystal breads. This geometry, with my permission, should be eight by eight. 
Maybe another master will recommend eight by seven for you because of your astrology, because of your spiritual powers. Maybe use six point grets. In fact, you may be a Jew and your master prefers to use six pointed geometry for you. Maybe you are a Satanist. Your master prefers to use five pointed grets. It is also called pentacle star and it depends on your master's permission. The common thing that I am writing is the dominant energy of Iran's currency, and I am teaching this to those who live in Iran, and 8 by 8 is a general thing, and for 99% of people in Iran, it works very strangely, and it changes their lives so much that they can't believe it. After 40 days, what happens in their lives, and where does all this money all this goodness and blessings come from, and all these changes. Well, crystal center, as you can see in the picture, that it should be the biggest crystal. Have a kilo at least, for some crystals like citrine. The crystals that are in the first line are medium crystals, and from the second line to the eighth line are thumbnail crystals. Here you need to use a crystal called amethyst, at least two numbers. Again, it depends on the master's permission, you must use lapis lazuli, which is for the fifth chakra, at least two numbers, again, with the master's permission, and, and here, I use the crystal that is, the same crystal's thumbnail, and three of my students have had the success of working with, these crystals, these are demon possessed crystals, demon possessed, it, ren, that are so powerful, maybe those three students of, Mine are watching my video now, and they are praying for me, and they know what a blessing these crystals were. I got a few of them, and demon-possessed crystals are very effective in the grid. That is, right now, that I have closed this grid, I have arranged four numbers of demons, and I have 61 empty houses to fill with demons. With these four numbers of demons, I can attract so much money in this grid that you will have to open the grid and you will not want to continue and you won't have time to live at all as much money as you make in this grid and and what if 61 other demons gather it means that an army of demons will come to provide sustenance in this grid and each of them brings a basket of money a basket of success promotion and change of circumstances what is a magic square? First of all, the magic square that I give is a square. See an example. This is for a special name, because for you have to calculate your own name for yourself. Each magic square is calculated according to a specific name that you derive the grand numerology of that name in a table with a different type of calculation depending on the demon who is going to be summoned and this table is for a special name. When it is written, it will be placed under this crystal, and you should not touch it for 40 days, and it should stay like this. And after 40 days, all the demons we were supposed to attract will be attracted. We will do the incense, and you will wait, and I will show you the power of this grid, and what strange changes it will create in your life. This grid has a lot of details. How far should the crystals be from each other? What should be their angle? Type of arrangement. Where should we put which crystal? What colors should we use? For example, where should we use it for the seventh chakra? Where should we put the sixth chakra? Where should the two-headed crystals be placed relative to the north, south, west, and east grid? And that the number of crystals goes from big to small. The distance between the crystals must be the same, and, since you close the grid, you should not touch this grid again. This magic will continue, until you no longer want it, and then, you should open the grid. This magic has only one master, and it responds to the name of the person whose magic square is written, that eyes, if a person is unemployed, and writes this, work will be created for him. Financial situations will be created, and it's not like that. For example, a person sits down and writes this and thinks that now my father will get money. He will also give it to me. It is true that money will come to you from different places like father, mother, brother, 
sister, partner, but you also have to act. When a financial opportunity is given to you, you have to try. I know that it is not possible to explain all the issues in this short video. The video is already too long. Maybe I will end the video by talking about cancel the summoning of housemates after you wrote the protection magic or you used agate to protect yourself to ward off supernatural beings and protect yourself. You have to evict the housemates, house demons. Every house we live in has a room. Each room has a housemate. Housemates are creatures that live in that room. At least one. When I say one, maybe a room has 10 housemates and one room's energy wave is heavier than another room. Well, you must do cancel the summoning of housemates. You can do unsummon housemates of Ikumshia. Not that you must do this, then smaller unsummon housemate for earthquakes. However, the powerful verses that we can use them, some people say, are all the things we do related to the Quran, related to Ayat al-Kursi, related to Sora Fata, related to Sora Earthquake. No, you can use any spirituality. It is because of the alignment of energy that the Quran has power. Because at the moment, I am talking to you. Dozens of people in the world are reading the Quran, and they send a special energy towards that verse and that word. For example, for Ayat al-Persi, the energy of protection, the same in Christianity, the same in the Torah, basically, in all the heavenly books, an energy alignment is created between the person who believes and says the word and the rest of the people who use it. This is why prayer is powerful. If you don't believe in Islam at all, can you still use that Quran? Yes, when they say that the Quran is a miracle, it is for this reason, because the Quran is the greatest book of magic. Be sure, the Quran, which they say is magical, is officially magic, and each of these words has weight and rhyme, and these weights when it is placed together, it is not that anyone comes and says something about the greatness of the sky and the earth and becomes a heavenly book. These words are magic and its verses can be used for summons. You should know that the Kuan is the greatest book of summons and you can summon all kinds of demons, angels and supernatural beings with the Kuan and you can force them to do things for you with specific verses of the Kuan. This grid is powerful in itself. When you use the verses of the Kuan, its power multiplies. It's okay if you don't put a magic square in this magic, but if you put a magic square, you increase its power. Incense is mandatory. Frequencies are mandatory. What are frequencies? We have to wake up this grid with a frequency of 432 Hertz. My students know about it. There has been a lot of talk. These frequencies are energy, are cosmic codes. I don't know if I'm talking to the low level, people who are watching this video, you are just starting magic, or am I talking more with my students whom I have taught all these, and they know what the cosmic code is, they know what the frequency of 432 is, the frequency of 432 hertz is the frequency of the galaxy and the universe. Instruments like the hung drum produce this frequency. I recommend that you use this frequency to wake up the grid. Use the music of this frequency. There are many chants and meditations on the internet, and I have my own meditations. Of course, I only give them to my students. Or you can use the hand drum instrument. If you have a hand drum instrument, or you have a friend or acquaintance who has a hand drum, when you want to wake up this grid, you should use lelo candles. Chant the third chakra and play the hand and do this process for 40 days. Five minutes of meditation, chanting and burning incense are mandatory. Sometimes you use candles that have that smell which is okay. It's great. Strawberry smell, saffron smell. I emphasize this. I think I said the general things related to this magic. Let's take a quick look at the requirements. The center crystal should be citrine, tiger eyes, or third chakra crystals. Two fifth chakra crystals are definitely required. Two sixth chakra crystals are definitely needed. Third eye 
at least four thimble crystals or two medium crystals from the seventh chakra are required. The rest of the crystals must be from the third chakra. If you want to use both chakra two and one with the master's permission, you can put its crystals. The master must determine which crystal is needed. I have arranged all carnelian agate here. I hope you like this video, and if you still have any questions, ask in the comments. I will try to answer all the comments. If you like the video, you helped me a lot, and it will make more people see the video and be able to use it. Really, the blessing of the third chakra is this magic, which is the most powerful magic for the third chakra. If you like to see related content, be sure to subscribe to the channel. Until the next episode.